Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy to see everyone. I am on my way home from work and I decided I would do a quick little video just to catch up and touch base. A lot I feel like has happened in the last uh, few weeks. A lot with the horses. Um, I went to a couple of shows kind of far away from home, went to a couple rodeos, lots of new experiences, um, took my red horse, my chestnut mare, um, and she did so good. Like, so a lot of exciting things. I just feel like I have lived a lot of life in the past three weeks. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but um, it just feels very much like I've done a lot of stuff, done a lot of things, been a lot of places. Um, and it's really cool. The other thing is, I know I've complained on here a little bit, although not in detail about any specifics, I've complained on here a little bit about work, um, my job, and how some parts of it just are driving me crazy. We talk a lot about mental health. We talk a lot about doing your mindfulness and really making sure you're in the right mental headspace um, to cope with everything in life um, in a healthy manner, in a healthy way, and deal with things in a healthy way. And I, I think all that is still good and all that is really great. But what I talked about a few months ago and I want to revisit today is there is also a such thing as understanding you need to get out of a situation. We don't want to mindfulness ourselves into being content and happy with something that is not good for us um, or best for us or helps us be the best version of ourselves. And I think sometimes that is a challenge to know when you need to cross over the line. Like when do you need to really just focus on looking at things a better way, having a different perspective, doing your mindfulness, controlling your anxiety, um, being mentally in a healthier headspace um, to deal with life and things and relationships better versus when do you need to make the decision that you need to move on from something or someone or some place and put yourself in a healthier situation. Promoting mental health um, does not mean allowing yourself to settle for something that you don't deserve or settle for a situation that you deserve better than. So I've done a lot of thinking over the last few weeks and I have made the decision to start looking for other jobs um, and I'm probably gonna transition out of where I'm currently working and into something different. It's no longer a good fit for me. It's no longer what I feel like I signed up for. It's no longer promoting me to be the best version of myself and do what I feel like is the best thing for the community around me. So for me, that's a huge deal. Um, not that anything concrete has happened, but in my head, this is now the new plan. So again, perspective is everything, right? So in your head, when you have decided something, when you have decided to change paths, to change directions, everything starts to change. So as I am, am thinking about where I go from here as far as careers go, like what's my next job going to be like, what do I really want to do? I kind of find myself applying for a, a bunch of different things, um, like a variety of stuff, a variety of locations. And I think the reality is I really don't know what I want my next thing to be. One of the reasons I think I'm uncertain about my next move or my next direction is because I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions. As I'm looking for new positions, new jobs, you know, I think, I mean, there's, there's a variety of things, but I think there is kind of a clear distinction between, am 
I applying for a job where I really am trying to be 100% invested in my in my work, invested in whatever company I end up working for, invested in trying to continue with leadership positions that are going to require me to be around a lot and have a lot more responsibility and a lot more opportunity to make influence and impact, but the flip side of that is it's a lot more responsibility and it's a lot more time consuming and it's a lot more stressful and you know all those things or do I want to just do something that maybe allows me to have a little more freedom a little more flexibility a little more time to spend with the horses and to go on these competition trips and travel and see family more and have a little more freedom in my head, that's kind of what I'm struggling with, is what direction to take this. I wanted to just talk through this a little bit with you guys today because I think a lot of times we tell ourselves and we tell each other that if you work really hard and you try hard enough and you put in the time and you put in the effort and you put in the energy that you can have it all and you can do it all and you can just accomplish everything and although that sounds really nice and really hopeful I just want to present the idea that the reality may be that that is not how life works I don't think you can live 10 lifetimes in one lifetime I think that we have to make choices in life I mean yeah you can do a lot of different things I mean you, you can experiment with a lot of different things, you can do a lot of different things, you can have a lot of different jobs throughout the course of your lifetime, you can have a lot of different hobbies. I mean, yeah, you can have a ton of variety, but you're never going to be the best at that thing or excel as far as you could potentially excel if you don't throw yourself all the way into it. To be most successful, best version of something you got to go all in for it there's just not enough time in our lives in our days in our weeks to spread ourselves too thin and I don't say that to be depressing or to make people feel like they can't have it all and to make you feel sad or, or bad about that I'm saying that because I think that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to do so much in our current world. We have to have like this exemplar career, we're supposed to like have a family, we're supposed to raise our kids, we're supposed to have a nice house, we're supposed to have a lot of money in the bank for retirement, add a hobby on that that you want to do well at, that's another thing. And I just think in all honesty, the reality is you gotta you gotta make some decisions. Like you gotta make some choices and you gotta realize that you can't be everything all at one time and you can't give yourself completely to 20 different things at a time. I'm a firm believer that everything we do in life, every decision we make, every choice we make, every direction we take, is either pulling you towards something or pushing you away from something. And you can't go in two directions at once. If you want to do something to the best of your ability, enjoy something to the best of your ability, you have to dedicate 100% of your energy to it. And you have to dedicate 100% of your focus to it. Now, does that mean you have to focus on the same thing 100% of the time? No. You can say eight to five is my time to focus on work and six to nine is my time to focus on family and Saturday is my day to focus on the hobby that I enjoy. The point is you only have so much time to divide up. So if you don't have your buckets of time divided in the way that supports the life that you're trying to build, you're not going to feel very satisfied. If you're chasing this dream career that might be taking more of you than you're willing to give because you wanna because you want to spend more time with your family or more time on a hobby that you enjoy or more time exercising or more time reading or pick any activity then you're gonna feel torn in multiple different directions. 
what I have been thinking a lot about the last couple of weeks. I'm really trying to decide what kind of new job am I am I after as far as schedule, flexibility, ability to travel, um, both with the horses, to see family, just to do vacations. So when you are making your own decisions about your life and trying to decide what decisions and directions are in your near next future, give that a little bit of thought. Think about your goals, think about your dreams, think about what you want for yourself out of life. I read a book recently that um, was talking about actually how healthy it is to meditate or to think about your own mortality every day. And I know that sounds really morbid, so just hold on and stick with me for a second. Because what he was saying in that in that book is imagine what your decisions would look like day in and day out if every morning you woke up and you spent 10 minutes thinking about the fact that you're not going to be here forever. There's going to come a time in life where you're going to have to look back on what you've done, what you've accomplished, what you spent your time and energy contributing to, and you're going to want to have no regrets. So don't be afraid to have those tough, hard discussions with yourself. I know they're scary. Nobody wants to have them. We all just want to brush it under the rug and say, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Like, I can figure this out tomorrow. But the truth is, life is not that long, and you have to make decisions about your direction, remember that whatever you are not changing in life, you are choosing. So make sure you choose wisely. All right, talk soon.